We got a little bit of a problem. This is going out of control behind our house right now. Fire burning through a field started from a controlled burn of an irrigation ditch. The firefighter said everything was fine and they took off and left and not two minutes later, this field right behind me just started to go up in flames. I saw this big flame just flying right here at the gate, at the fence. So I immediately called my husband and said, John, fire, there's a fire. And so that's when things really started moving quickly and you could feel the heat and then soot just kept falling on us. My parents say hundreds of cars were driving down this road to try and see the fire, but that made it hard for fire trucks to come in to be able to fight it. Police had to turn people away right here to keep them at a safe distance and allow the firefighters to come in and fight the fire. It got a little scary, you know, these, all the onlookers, and I get the excitement of it. You don't see a fire this big every day right in the middle of the city. Larson says if the field had to burn, he's glad it burned when it did. Probably better to have that fire in the spring when it's uh, not quite as dry, and so to have it now in the spring instead of the summer after a lightning strike, you know, this may have saved us from, for, from a, a bigger problem later in the summer. We even had a couple fire trucks get stuck in the mud because after it got cleared, they were finally able to go in and they were, you know, with picks and axes, they were uh, knocking out all the hot spots, making sure nothing flared up after the, the fire was over. The fire's not the only thing the Larsons are dealing with. Well, the timing of this, we've had the coronavirus, we've had an earthquake, and now we just had a big fire in our field. So um, if anything, it, it did bring our neighborhood together. Adam Larson. ATV News.